Welcome to Alchemical Science. I'm Jordan, a self-taught pharma, physicist, and electrical engineer who conducts open source research in the fields of unified physics, neuroscience, human and plant biology, soil science, and radiant energy power systems. No new ideas that come up in my videos can be patented. In this video, we're going to be talking about printing and winding rodent coils. And this is a nice uh, third order individual coil design that my wife Emma has done um, based on Tom Barnett and Andrew Spard's mathematics and designs. And we're kind of calling it our standard coil because it's just, uh, it's got a nice proportion between the outer diameter and the inner di diameter. Um, and it looks like that traditional rodent coil geometry of the magnetic field look that you're looking for um, in a rodent coil. So we're going to go through just 3D printing this yourself if you want to use our files and do the whole thing yourself at home or we're going to have kit sets available for this coil soon so if you've already got the files you can skip to the second half of the video and find out how to wind the coil. So if you're printing the coil yourself you just need to jump on the downloads page the alchemicalscience.org website and you'll see down here individual coil third order coil frames uh, six centimeter inner diameter by 28 centimeter outer diameter and it's an individual coil frame so if you click on the download button it'll open up a google drive folder that has all of the files here to make all of the different um, coils in these folders but um, you want to go into the single channel offset geometry design to do a unifiler winding coil and then we're going to do the 9 by 19 which we're calling kind of calling our standard coil design it's a third order coil so it has a nice proportion between the inner and outer diameter for a lot of different experiments um, rather than the first order coil which has the very large uh, hole in the center so if you just open that up you'll see there's two files in there the nine hole ring and the 19 hole former so we'll um, just download those two And if you have a look at those files, this is the ring. So you'll see it's got the nine holes in it there to slot the formers into. And this is our former here with 19 holes and the little fire sign on the center, which is a nice touch. And that'll slide on to this ring here. So you shouldn't have to do anything to those STL files to cut them, they're just flat file, make sure they're laying flat on the build plate and otherwise you can go ahead and print one ring and nine of these formers and then we'll put them together once they're done. Alright so once all your parts are printed you should have one ring and nine of these 19 hole formers here and they've got this nice fire sign on the front, very pretty. So all you've got to do to assemble the coil is line up this little slot with the slot on the ring and just push them together and it'll make a little cracking sound but push nicely together there um, and sit in place so it's not moving from left to right. Um, and all you've got to do is just make sure the fire signs are all going in the right direction. That's the only prerequisite there. Otherwise, it's as easy is just pushing the frames on. And you can glue those if you want some extra support, but look, they hold pretty well. And um, once you've put the wire on, they're gonna hold even better. So I'll just put the rest of these on quickly. All right, so here's our assembled frame and it's pretty sturdy and not going anywhere. So I've just got some leftover wire here to start to show you the winding pattern. Um, and we'll show you the finished product as well. But really it's arbitrary, your starting point, but obviously you want it go to be somewhere accessible where it's nice for the, the wire outlet to be. So usually we just start right in the center former here on any of the formers. And each time you're going up, you know, so this one would be 
even what with this former here. So we would actually go up one. And then as we go around, we'll go up another one, over to the next former. Uh, where are we? I think we are here, yeah. And the next one there. And it gets a little more difficult as you're going through. Sorry, I'm in an awkward position so that I can show the camera here, but it's a little easier than this if you're just doing it yourself. But you'll work your way through the center of the toroid. And each time you'll have to slide your wire through there. That's why I've designed these, well, not quite large enough for this spool of wire, but for a 100 gram spool of wire. And then if you turn your coil around, and just keep following that same winding pattern. And then we'll get right back to one hole above our initial starting point. And we'll just keep going around in that pattern. And that's what makes that unifiler spiral around the coil. So we'll get the actual coil that we're gonna uh, wind, that we're gonna wind this up and wind it up properly and we'll show you the end result. But one little note here, I'll just grab one other bobbin of wire here. If you want to do the interference pattern where you have two opposing windings, you do just do exactly the same thing where we start at exactly the same point, but we wind counterclockwise around the coil. So we go from there to there and up to the next one and so on. And that will actually create that um, diamond pattern you're seeing on the number map. Yeah, here, exactly. But, of course, you'll see that diamond pattern anyway if you look directly down on the coil once it's wound because you'll see the opposing windings from each side. So, either way you want to wind that, that's how you do it. It's really quite simple. So, we'll wind this coil um, today and then we'll show you the end result at the end of the day. Okay, so here's our finished wound rodent coil here. You can see that beautiful geometric pattern. This is of course just one single winding. It's much more likely that you'll do more windings than this, uh, depending on the experiment you're doing. But very cool. If you try it out, be sure to let us know. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about printing and winding those coils, please just uh, hit us up in the comments. And yeah, we will hopefully have some of these kit sets for sale soon. It's limited by our 3D printer. We're not injection molding these parts or anything. Um, we're just kind of printing them for people to encourage experimentation in this area. So keep an eye out for those. But if you have a 3D printer, go ahead, download the files tonight, um, start printing it. Experiment, show us uh, what you're doing. Thanks for watching.